chain on it. Yeah, I got hearts. We all got beats in a dance. We are all got holics, all got holics. Chronic and tonic. Put the tin there, sit down, pun it. Sit down, pun it. We all got beats. Hi guys and welcome back to Just Doing Me. I am Mimi. How you doing? So, by the way, if I'm like sweating, if my hair's a bit of a mess, it's just because I just filmed um, kind of like a dancey get ready with me playlist, like my favourite Afrobeat songs at the moment. So don't watch that, but make sure you check out that video. Um, but today, now, what I'm going to be doing is basically I'm going to be answering your questions that you asked me. You've been asking me for the last few months and I've just finally gotten time i'm on vacation i'm in england i've got a whole week well about half a week now left to just chill and do whatever i want and like what i want to do is film for you guys so i'm going to be answering all your questions now um but beforehand like some of them i've got here and i will shout out the person that asked it but beforehand i will just clear up some misconceptions or stuff that i've seen on my comments about my channel or about me first of all i'm 27 i'm turning 28 in 27 days so yeah the countdown has begun some people are like liar you're 30 no bitch i'm 27 chill okay um what else do people often say we are we are not desperate we are single out of choice for the boyfriend next week we could have one it's pretty easy you know but i want the right one okay i'll think of the other ones as we go along but the first question i have here is from via jante 91 and she asked me via instagram um so she's basically wanting some tips for relocating to barcelona now this is like a question that i get a lot people want to know how to relocate is there racism what it's like getting a job if i were you i would do some research watch some videos on youtube watch my videos on youtube of what it's like being black in barcelona or my video of thinking of relocating to spain what you need to know that goes through all the documents that you'll need um but basically it's been great for me but i can't say my experience is going to be your experience so do some research um if you already live in europe in a country that's part of the european union it's going to be a lot easier for you than if you're coming from somewhere outside europe because getting your paperwork is very stressful over here so thanks for your john team 91 for asking that then your dot chocolate dot rose asked me do i have snapchat Sorry guys, I don't have Snapchat, but I do post my Snap stories on Instagram. So if you're not following me, go follow me on Instagram. I'm at just doing underscore me. And that's my version of Snapchat. It's too much, you know, having Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Like I can't be posting in all these different places. Like I need to have my own social life. So that's the reason I don't have Snapchat. I may get it one day, but for right now, everything I do, I post on Instagram. Then I've got Nettie's Goodies 9. Again, that was another one about moving to Barcelona. She wanted to know, to know what sort of areas to stay in. I would recommend staying as close to the centre as possible. If you don't already have a job, if you do already have a job, obviously try and stay as close to your job as you can. But the centre is where it's popping. So Raval, it's a bit rougher, but more affordable prices. Or Gotico, um, Bourne, yeah, those sort of places and Barcelona too because that's right by the beach so those are good places to stay okay then we've got Lou Wire. well I probably fucked your name up right there I'm sorry um again via Instagram she says hey girl I'm loving your YouTube videos of Spain just wondering how you managed to meet so many good looking guys um <laughs> this is quite interesting because I do feel like a lot of people wonder that like some ho i'm gonna call her a ho because i deleted her comments so i don't know what her freaking handle is so she's just a ho some ho was like i bet she pays all these white boys to be in her videos yes bitch i pay them a thousand per appearance in fact for every minute they are in my youtube videos they get a grand so yeah i'm that rich i'm that bossy i'm that desperate we're pulling a kenya more up in here every guy in my videos earns about 15k for every video yeah yeah and yes we are still wearing primark chai some people you know the haters are so real they will see you walking on water and say it's because you can't swim 
mind your own damn business bitch actually well I'm honestly weary but that hoe needs to mind her business but how do I date so many good looking guys honestly the truth is I'm quite shallow and I'm trying to work on it because good looking guys come with their own band of issues like yeah I would do a video about that another day you date a good looking guys this is the shit you get so I'm trying to be a little bit less shallow because looks aren't everything so but how I date good looking guys whew, I'm just really confident I would say and like I get a lot of messages I use online dating as I said before I get a lot of messages and yeah because I'm so shallow if they're not up to like yeah a nine or an eight I'm like yeah bye don't be like me people don't be like me there's a reason why all my relationships don't work out work out okay then we've got goat underscore cheese underscore and underscore pickles so goat cheese and pickles that's quite funny these handles man <laughs> so shout out to you you've asked us three times um so i understand that you're relocating to barcelona and you're doing that in september and you basically want to know how i chose what to bring with me so i actually took with me two suitcases and a hand luggage and a handbag which i stuffed as many things as i could into um but if you guys have seen my wardrobe tour like i took like one tenth of what i owned so like deciding what to take was really difficult what i tried to do is basically take one of everything obviously from the uk i had a lot of winter stuff left that behind there was really no need for that and if i did need it i could buy it so i took the must-haves so one pair of jeans one pair of you know everything one pair of simple black shoes, one pair of dazzling gold shoes, just like one of everything because um, I'm some person has like several of the exact same thing um, and I also tried to take what I needed for work just in case I wasn't sure if I was going to get a corporate job or whatnot so I took a few items I would possibly need for a corporate job, a few items I need for like a much more casual job um, but yeah that was difficult so I packed, I repacked, I packed, I repacked that's what you've got to do basically okay next question jay waddle um she's watched my colorist video and she heard that i mentioned that i dated pakistani indian guys she says she's interested in dating them but wants to ask if there will be a religion and culture clash my guess yes there will be um in my dating history it wasn't because I, I never got serious with any Asian guy that I dated it was more just like a few dates casual but my mum as I mentioned before is Christian my dad is Muslim and even though they're from the same culture there was already a religious clash there so my guess is yes there will be a culture and there will be a religious clash the best thing you can do is talk about it right from the get-go and find out how important certain things are to each other what are the must-haves what are the flexibles i've done that there was a guy that i was thinking about dating he was asian you know and he was muslim and i was like right where do you stand on religion he was like he's very flexible i was like and your kids where do you stand on your kids being raised as and he was like very flexible as well so, okay, that's the important stuff. Have the conversation early on so you have no surprises down the line. Okay, so then on YouTube, L. Thompson said, how do you find the Spanish style? She found it to be dead in comparison. Um, so, Spanish style in comparison to British girls. I'm assuming that here you're talking about like fashion and style. And if that's the case, yes, it is dead. Maybe in Catalonia because I've heard that like in cities like Madrid they're a lot more cosmopolitan and the style there is on a good level but in Barcelona damn near everybody dresses like they're homeless. I don't know why it might be because it's so hot you can't really be bothered but I'm not impressed by the girls and I'm certainly not impressed by the boys but it's good because that means I stand out. So yeah <laughs> then we've got Tori Cook on YouTube. And she was like, do you have any ugly friends? Your crew is so beautiful. <laughs> no, no, we don't have ugly friends. <laughs> Everybody's beautiful, you know, inside and out. I'm very fortunate. Then we've got Black Rose who said, girl, I love your videos. I'm trying to find your sugar daddy. What sites do you use? Um, yeah, I don't think you, you were watching that sugar daddy video properly. We do not. Yeah, we don't use sugar daddy sites <laughs> at least i don't but i know there's lots out there just google 
watch some videos on YouTube, I'm sure there's lots of hints and tips, but I've never used such. Then I've got Dara Fulton, she says, I've got beautiful natural hair, have I ever thought of wearing it out for a while? I most certainly have, my hair is natural, um, I'm just trying to grow it out at the moment and I'm also learning at the moment how to style it naturally, how to get the right curls, waves, etc. So I'm learning a lot of things and hopefully soon I'll be able to rock my natural hair once it's fuller and longer. Then we've also got Sexy Goddess on YouTube. I'm loving the songs at the end. What's their names? Basically, I get so many people asking me what are the songs that I use in my YouTube video. A lot of them are by an artist called PJ. He's actually a producer. He's Nigerian. Um, you can find him on Instagram at Beats by PJ. No, Beats from PJ. He's really dope. But a lot of the songs that I play, he's not released. So I can't direct you guys to where it is. I just have it because he's really good friends with my sister. And also a lot of songs I play are by my sister so she's jay money and um, you can link there you can search for her on youtube her songs are available okay then i've got patricia calvert who's asking what job do i do i am an account manager for a tech company um so basically i manage our clients and make sure they do lots of business with us and get them to spend more and more mm. Mm, finessing them out their money okay we've got orange black girl on youtube she said the question i have for that video is do you guys experience any racism and if so how do you deal with it um so i think this is about my moving to spain i've i've said before i haven't received or experienced any outright racism but i do get a lot of stares people stare at me all the time on the tube just walking you know yeah but then on the other hand if they were saying something racist in spanish i wouldn't understand anyway so maybe i have had outright racism and i just haven't realized but it's not that bad i know there's some uh, perception out there that like spain is extremely racist i'm not saying it is i'm not saying it isn't all i'm saying is in my experience it really hasn't been that bad then we've got Misha MC and she says, do you ever get nervous doing presentations and what tips do you have for things that you do to prepare for large groups? Hmm. Okay, I'll answer the first one because I understand that one. Yes, I always get nervous before presentations. I do a lot of presentations with my job. Um, when I was younger, like even reading in class, you know, when I was like eight, my hands used to shake and the paper would be shaking like... I still get that but practice makes perfect now I know I can smash any presentation and that kind of puts me at ease but what really settles me is being prepared if I know what I'm gonna say if I like my presentation my powerpoints are ready I feel so much more at ease because I know I can get that out there and I can deliver so be prepared and you will not fail okay and I got asked, which editor do I use to edit my videos? I use Wondershare Filmora. They're really good. I do like them. So we had Dara also asking again, Dara underscore K underscore Fulton. She had two questions and she says, what are your plans um, or direction for your YouTube channel? Okay, this one's really good. I like this question. Thanks, Dara. I love you, girl. Um, so my plan for my YouTube channel is to be more fashion style hair makeup beauty um you guys probably know a lot of my videos starting out were dating even now I still a very strong dating story times about my dating life you know and i feel like i've had a lot of backlash because of it you know and the more personal i am the more the negativity does hurt so i'm kind of moving away from talking about my personal life not just because of that but because it's exhausting like yeah i want to take a break from men i want to take a break from drama so i still need to be able to post so we're going to do more beauty videos guys um and then the second question how do you live so fabulously thanks girl we're faking it so we making it you know i'll be rocking my primark people will be thinking it's prada no darling like i've got a good eye i've got good like fashion and style so if something looks really cheap i will not buy it like i can tell you know i can buy three pound earrings that look like they're 300 pounds you know like get a good eye like look around do some research see what's in style and see what's aff affordable so that's kind of how i do it um i 
don't think I'm that fabulous in comparison to some of these people I see on Instagram, it's their Gucci Chanel, at least not anymore, like, yeah, but, um, what I'd say is I've just got a good eye, so, oh, and I travel with work, so that might be part of why you're thinking I'm fabulous, I travel with work, also, dating helps, yeah, if I'm going out for dinner, I'm not always paying, in fact, most of the time I ain't paying, so, yeah, <laughs> date eat on somebody else's money <laughs> get dressed up go to nice bars enjoy your life so yeah those are your questions guys keep them coming if you have any more i hope it's given an insight into a bit more about who mimi is um i love you i hope you guys love me too follow me on my instagram at just doing underscore me leave a comment below leave a like a thumbs up and i will see you guys soon make sure you subscribe looking good Feeling good. We all that beats in a dance. We are alcoholics, alcoholics, chronic and tonic. Put the tin here, yeah, sit down, pun it, sit down, pun it. We all that beats in a dance. We are alcoholics, alcoholics, chronic and tonic. Put the tin here, yeah, sit down, pun it. Uh, we are that beats and the tin. Where we do we have to kill it? Stop to the finish. Ain't no one living till we finish. Go babe, plenty money flow away Bait away when it's said it's no way The girl go not surely one day To the top of my people okay So we gun bubble, all my homies on deck Ride the waves when we up in them jets Looking at these pictures, I don't see no threat If you ain't tucking checks, then you need